yellow the keys and welcome back to Haven. Ready when you are. Ready. I believe we are on Chukeko. Your turn. I got this. And all set. Yes. That should do it. Now shoot. That's how we rock. This is basically the other half of the broken um, land that ready when you target loot. You block, I'll hit. On your mark. Anytime. You know what to do. Yep. That was uh, ready when you are. All set. We couldn't reach the other Return. half, but now because we have the on your mark roundabout way things went. Ready when you are. Booyah! On your mark. Now. Ah. That looks bad. Ready when you are. You know what to do. I got this. On your mark. Eat it. Ready? Your turn. I'm on it. Come on. Come on. <gasps> on your mark. This one's no, ready. We want yep. to get the one that we haven't gotten. Awesome. You know what to do. On it. Are you okay? He's right. Oh yeah. Your turn. I got this. You? Yep. Saw that. There you go. I don't like this. Let's get it over with. And done. This one's ready. Yep. There we go. Let's do this. Done and done. We make a good team. Yes. We're not leaving empty handed. We're still working on clearing out the rust on this place. Hey, you! Whoa. Come see! What? Oh! So cool! A beach! Looks like the ones on Beauty that my mom and I used to go to. Lucky you. Oh, too bad there's no bridge leading there. We could use a dip. We could jump. What? It isn't that high, and the water looks deep. If we jump straight, it probably won't hurt. Let's do it! I'm game! Seriously? Of course! You just said that it's safe. Then let's go for it. <laughs> well, aren't you jumping? It's kinda high, actually. You're the one who said it wasn't that high. I know. But now that we decided we should jump, it feels like five or six meters higher. Do you want me to jump first? No, no, it's all good. It was my idea. I'll jump first. Okay. You're coming next, right? You're not leaving me alone down there. Of course. As soon as you get out of the way, I'll jump. Well, unless you hurt yourself, or you tell me, no, you, don't go. Okay. I might scream a little. Oh, yeah, I will too. All right. Jump on three. One. Two. Three. <sighs> you didn't jump. I thought I didn't. My own legs betrayed me. <laughs> okay. Let's try again together? Okay. Together. You're not gonna chicken out this time. Not if you're holding my hand. Okay. One. Two. Three. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I didn't really want to jump. I didn't think that they'd eventually actually jump, but oh well. <gasps> it's so warm. Maybe it's because it's closer to the core. Or maybe it's sheltered from the winds above. Uh, who cares why? Come on, let's get suited up. Ah, this is a lot better. 
We have a beach. This is a good place to sit down, isn't it? It's perfect. Okay, that settles it. I am never leaving this planet. <laughs> that wasn't on the cards anyway. I hear you, but they have cream berries growing right on the ground. Isn't that heavenly? They always grow right on the ground. Not on top. On top, you can only get cream berries at the luxury stalls. And they cost a bleeding arm and a leg. Huh. And so it seems that we're about to start eating like kings. <laughs> cream berries! We're on a paradise island. Of course there's cream berries. <laughs> Break? Hold on. Not just now. I want to look around a bit. Okay, so there is a blue line there. <laughs> Dare to jump? You betcha. After the one we just did, this one isn't going to scare me. Then let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> this water is almost too warm. It's not even refreshing. Uh, you? <gasps> you gotta see this. I found. <gasps> Breathe. <sighs> I found a cave. A cave? A cave. Underwater? Underwater. There's even an air pocket. I'll follow you. Huh. I'm out of my... All right. Wow. Uh -huh. You didn't believe me. <sighs> Whatever. I believed you this whole time. Okay. How awesome is this? It's super awesome. This light. Yeah. I have no idea where that's coming from. Looks like it's shining through the rock. I've never seen such a thing. Have you ever seen this? Stalagmites go up, stalactites come down. Cool. But those floating in between? What are they? Stalagmites? Is that a real thing? Well, looks like it is. You know, just because I have a biology degree doesn't mean I have all the answers about everything. Such a scam. Come, look over here. There's a tunnel going this way. Go on. I'll follow you. Ah, ah. Looks like it's getting wider. <laughs> Sounds like there's an <laughs> echo as well. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> hey, he's a booger eater. <laughs> Very funny. You drills in her sleeve. You started it. Started it. Okay, but the okay, stuff about me is true. true. So it's not funny. What makes you think the stuff about me isn't, about isn't true? true. Ew. 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 This echo's getting on my nerves. Isn't it? Isn't it? Should we go? Should we go? There it is. Water again. We must be close to an exit. Ah! What? What? Something's got my foot! Ah! Quick! Let's go! I can't! My foot's stuck! Pull! Pull! Hold on, I'm coming. No, you go ahead. He could grab you too. Stop talking, this Blue. I'm not leaving you behind. Don't move. I. It's a shell. Huh? Your <clears throat> foot is stuck in a shell. Huh? Hold on. Pulling isn't gonna work. Just try and twist it like this. <clears throat> Must have been a really strong mollusk. Nope. It's empty. You really stuck your foot in a shell, all by yourself, like a big boy. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice shell, though. Yeah, and you almost broke it. You could at least congratulate me for finding it. Isn't there any way I could turn this ridiculous moment into something positive? Dude, you stuck your foot in a shell. Uh, okay, okay. We are so bringing this back to the nest. I want to remember this moment every day that I wake up. <laughs> uh, where are we? 
I think we just came out on the other side of the island. Oh, nice. Want to swim to that rock? Uh, which one? On solid ground. Sand in between my break. Break. Wait, where did the? No. Don't ask questions. Just enjoy. <laughs> feel like going back up. We'll be back. I sure hope so. <laughs> hey, what would we have done if there hadn't been a thread to bring us back up? <laughs> you didn't even think about that? Uh, well, neither did you. <laughs> I was just trusting you. And... I'm glad I did, but I am starting to wonder. We would have found a way. Okay, very comforting. You're lucky this little beach sash turned out to be a really great idea. Oh, so it just takes us right back to where we were. Are we going back? Maybe later. So there's still something. Don't let yourself fall behind, okay? Never again. Still something with. Oh, right over there. This one is nice and ripe. Okay. So this isn't the only one. Are we saving those for later? Of course. Hmm. What am I missing? Obviously, I'm missing something. Oh. That was the last one. There we go. All right. Now, our... map there or there okay so if I hit R This whole time we've been working to try to get back to the nest, guys. Hey, I know this place. That's, yep. Here we go. Right over here. So, is this rust, or is this not rust? Depends on how you define rust. 
A kind of ruddy substance that dissolves in flow? Then it's not rust. It has the same components, but no matter how much flow I throw at it, it won't budge. On the contrary, flow seems to evaporate when they come into contact. Mm. Evaporate? Yeah. I don't know if that's the right word. It's absorbed, consumed? I, I mean, it disappears. Mm. Oh, yeah. Then it's like hyper rust. If you will. So, to summarize, hyper rust dissolves flow, which dissolves rust. Maybe rust dissolves hyper rust. That would be like rock, paper, scissors. No, no, rust and hyper rust, as you call it, have no effect upon one another. Too bad. I really like rock, paper, scissors. I win every time. <laughs> I know. And I still don't understand how you do it. It's statistically impossible. If you think rock, paper, scissors has to do with statistics, you have really missed the point of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> One day, I will uncover this mystery. All in due time. First, hyper rust. Then rock, paper, scissors. All right, so... Got a bunch of random stuff as well. <laughs> hmm. Do you remember why we climbed up here? Because we're allowed to do absolutely anything we want. Okay, but wouldn't we be a lot better down there, in the grass? This really isn't very comfortable. I like it here. You can feel the nest purring underneath. You must be the only person in the world who prefers the sound of an engine to silence. On source? You bet. <sighs> Think about it. We would probably get arrested on top just for doing this. You know, what's it called? Indecent exposure. <laughs> Not on truth. Really? Nope. As long as there's no deliberate intent to provoke. And how do you determine whether or not there is a deliberate intent to provoke? Hmm, <laughs> that is the question. Anyway, we get arrested on truth just for being together, so... I have no idea how anyone can live like that with all of those <sighs> restrictions. Don't love each other. Don't walk around naked. Don't drive over 800 lum an hour. Don't kill your kids? Okay, yes. That one, I guess, isn't all bad. But no one needs a law for that. Everyone knows you shouldn't kill your kids. Don't bet on it. I'm just saying, there should only be one law. Don't be a boron. Define boron. Define, define. Ugh. No, but seriously, everyone knows deep down what is or isn't good. Is that your conclusion, after observing the apiary? <sighs> All right, sure. But in the apiary, people aren't free to do what they want. And that's why it makes them frustrated, angry, self-centered. But if everyone in the world were as free as we are, as happy as we are, don't you think the world would be a better place? I don't think that's possible. The main reason we're happy now is because we weren't before. If we had had this from the beginning, we would have probably found other problems. Such as the fact that the nest's roof isn't at all comfortable. Ugh. You have a real issue with freedom. <laughs> no 
duo text upgraded. Okay. And as per usual, more health. Oh, wait. What? We don't want to be out here. Come on. What exactly? Okay. Nothing to enhance. Let's eat um, spicy apple juice. Although we do now have. Well, what is it? I thought it would be quite obvious. It's a present. Great, I see that, but what is it? Open it, silly. Uh, that's just the shell. Wait, what did you do? I thought it had a nice soundboard, so I added a bridge, some strings. You said you were missing your guitar. Uh, this is so cool! Whew, I was afraid you wouldn't like it. Are you joking? It's bluting amazing! I can't believe you managed to do all this right under my nose. Is it in tune? I did my best. Ooh! How did you come up with this thing? I was tired of seeing this shell as a reminder of my mishap in the cave. <laughs> what mishap? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is just the shell you turned into a guitar because you're the best lover ever, isn't it? <laughs> Are you gonna play a song? No way! I haven't played a guitar in years. Let alone a shell guitar. I'll need to dust off my skills first. But soon, I promise. All right, guys, I think I'm actually going to call it here for today. So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.